Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And we have been Shopify experts for over five years now. And we post weekly videos every Monday through Friday on this YouTube channel, all about how to grow your online Shopify store. So in this video series that we're doing now, we are actually reviewing some existing Shopify stores and giving tips and tricks that you can apply for your own Shopify store on how to increase your overall design aesthetic or increase your conversion rate on your site. So if you're interested in being considered for one of these review videos, make sure to comment below this video with a link to your own online store that has to be on the Shopify platform and we'll go through and check that out for you. So in this video, we are actually going to go through a company called The Traveler's Pet. So in our last Shopify review video, they posted a comment below with a link to their store and also said that they had been doing a lot of paid advertising, but weren't getting a lot of sales. So we wanted to instantly look at their store and see what tips we could give. So make sure that you also look in terms of the tips that we're giving. So they are going to be specific for their store, but you can use them and apply them to your own store as well. So make sure to, to go at it with a critical eye for your own store as we're going through this. So the biggest thing that I see right off the bat is the, the top area of their site is very distracting. So I would definitely make the logo a lot bigger. You want to make sure that your logo is not just, you know, dominating the page. However, it, you are wanting to build uh, an audience that is really loyal to you and your brand. So you want to make sure that the logo is really nice, crisp and clean and legible. So it's at a good size where you can actually read that. Also, the navigation is very, very large. So I would definitely go in and condense this. There's not a, a specific set of, okay, you know, this is, you need X amount of navigation items. However, this is way too many and very overwhelming whenever you're going to look at their store. So in terms of the navigation, I would do it as more of a bucket system. So you could have, you know, shop bedding, shop collars, and have different areas that you can shop by or even shop by color or size. So for example, since this is a dog brand that sells dog accessories, um, I personally have an Irish Wolfhound and a Pitbull mix, which are both huge dogs. So whenever I'm shopping for anything for my dogs, I am instantly looking at the large and extra large size for things. Um, because I know that you know anything smaller than that is just not gonna work. So think about how your customers are, are looking for your products and how they're going to go through that information. Are they shopping by size or color? Um, how are they trying to narrow down which product would be best for them? And make sure you add that in terms of your navigation. So I would definitely condense the navigation, as I said, add some things like shop by size or color, as well as you know maybe just a general shop menu where you can have a drop down menu from there in terms of adding in you know, shop bedding, toys, accessories, things like that. So we actually do have another video tutorial that's on how to set up a drop down menu with your Shopify store. So if you are interested in doing that, we will put a link in the description below or in the cards up here at the top. Next on the home page, as you scroll down, it's just really overwhelming with the slideshow. So I have a love hate relationship with slideshows because they're so big, they take up so much real estate on your site. And a lot of times they don't really provide that much additional value. It's nice if you have really nice stylized images, but even those I feel like can be featured on other pages of the site and you could push some more featured content up to the top of the site. So keep in mind whenever you're designing the layout of your site of what are the crucial things that your customers need to know about you and your website and your products. You want to make sure that you can get as much of that crucial information up before the fold. So that's before they have to scroll down on your site. And that way you can really kind of keep everything concise. So if they just pop onto your homepage for just a second, you want to be able to instantly convey what you sell or what your business is so that they instantly get a grasp of if it's for them or if it's not. So my recommendation for the traveler's pet would be to get rid of this slideshow because it's really just not adding a ton of extra value. And instead they have some featured areas on the homepage below and I would bump those up a bit. I would also add in call to action buttons. So it's nice to have more stylized images of your products on your site. 
However, make sure that everything that you're linking people to is very actionable. So saying like shop best sellers or shop top accessories, however you want to word that, make sure that it's always a very actionable step, whether it's learning more about you or shopping different products, you wanna make sure that you're always giving them that next step to take with your website so that they're gonna stay on your website longer. On their product pages, I absolutely love how they have the trust symbol. So some of these Shopify themes will have this automatically or you could add it in yourself. However, I love that they have the trust symbols there of the different credit cards and overall checkout kind of lingo. Um, so this is really helpful because there's so many online stores now and there's some that you know aren't good. They're not um, going to send your products out. So if you have those trust symbols that you can see there from the below the add to cart button, as well as in terms of the, the reviews of people who have already purchased those products. Anything you can do on your product page to set up that credibility is always really important. You want people to know that if they order from you, they're gonna be able to get their product and they're gonna be able to get it in a quick fashion as well. So I would definitely recommend adding in some trust symbols like they have on their product page to your site as well. Once we go to the checkout area of their site, I also recommend making their logo bigger here. So you can really customize what your checkout area looks like in your Shopify theme settings. So every Shopify theme will have different checkout settings, which you can see by going to online store themes and then hitting customize for your primary theme. And it's gonna be labeled checkout in the left hand side there. And it always has options for adding in your logo, changing your colors, adding in a banner image, so you can really just stylize it to be a little bit more personal and unique for your brand. So I would make sure that you always put that logo really nice and big, center it up, and again, make sure that people know exactly who they're purchasing from. So in terms of the Traveler's Pet saying that they were doing a lot of online advertising and not getting sales, this is where it's really important to have Google Analytics set up for your online store. So we have two different videos that I will link to in the description below this video that goes through setting up Google Analytics for your online store as well as setting up goal conversions. So these are super important because it lets you see where people are coming to your site from as well as what pages they're leaving the site on. So you can really see where people are bouncing off. So let's say you're running a Facebook ad campaign and you see that people are coming in to the product page that you're setting the campaign up for but once they you know, add the product to the cart, they are leaving on the cart page. So in that instance, you would wanna add in some additional you know, text onto the cart page about your shipping times, maybe add some trust symbols or some reviews onto the cart page, just so that they know that it's a trusted company and that they're going to get their order quickly. If they're coming into a product page and they're leaving from the product page, you'd wanna look at you know, what information are they needing to get more of. Maybe you need to more, more descriptions or if you're you know, selling a, a food product, you need ingredients or allergy warnings on there. But having this information of what page on your site people are leaving the most from is really helpful in figuring out exactly what you need to tweak on your site. So while paid advertising is great because you can send a flood of traffic to your site, if your site isn't optimized, for that traffic, then you're not gonna have an ideal conversion rate. So I always recommend really honing in on your site pages before going in and spending a lot of money with advertising. Also, just in general, when you're going to advertise, I would recommend not sending them to a homepage or a collection page, but sending them to a specific product page. If you're showing the product in the ad, you wanna to link to that specific product page so that they can instantly purchase it because they're already interested in that product. If you're showing a grouping, then it's okay then to link to the collection page. However, I strongly recommend never linking to your homepage in any kind of ads because the conversion rates are always just gonna be really low for that. You want to make sure your ads are very targeted in terms of what products you're featuring and then having that link directly to that area, that collection, that page on your site because you don't want people to hit your site after coming to an ad that they really liked and then have to navigate through your site trying to find what they were after. You wanna make it as easy for them as possible. So again, that's just a few tips there in terms of paid advertising. 
but I really strongly do recommend setting up analytics for your online store so that you can have as much crucial information about how people are navigating your site as possible. So I hope you found this Shopify video review very helpful. And again, if you would like your Shopify store to be reviewed in the next video, make sure to post a link to your Shopify store in the comments below. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get video tips all about Shopify and how to grow your online store every Monday through Friday.